So I'll give the other two back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There, there we go. Yo, they're actually like a little bit yeah, I don't know. Yeah! And more of his stuff. <laughs> his tongue and his eyelids. What's up? They're so cute. Oh, little band aid, that's so cute. Okay, don't let them hit the ground. Oh, the gauges. Oh, that's so cute. Alright, so that came with your yes. all your spare. All the stuff. Yes, that's great. Okay. Thank you. Um, and I think there's like a uh, badge in there. Yeah, a little family badge. Oh, that's too. cute. Um, Thank normally you. I put stickers in here, but we didn't have enough stickers. That's okay. Like, we had none. <laughs> But I'm ordering new ones. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and then enjoy the rest. Woo! Hazel, or Keisha's just like, I'm seeing this. Goldie goes in. No, I'm just <laughs> hiding away because this thing stresses me. It's like me. way too late. Every single time on Roxy just stresses me. I'm sorry. Because it's like, I'm going to make sure it's perfect. You like, can I'm see his this. face. It's my boy. It's my boy. Oh, he is perfect. The floor is here. I love that. That's great. Okay, now put him on. Big old ball. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best part. Put him on. I took photos. Uh, I just put him on. He's so cute. Ah! <laughs> I'm a big dog. I'm <laughs> oh, a big dog. Oh, that's great. Hey. Ah! <laughs> that head is going Oof. everywhere. And there is. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, it's perfect. It's all posted. I love him. Yay. And the oh, big old paws. Mm -hmm. The big old beans. I believe they, they have beans. escape slits. Like they they, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. I guess. I, 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 I remember putting those in there. Ah. <laughs> so. Finger worms. Like escape slits uh, yeah. in the fingers so you can uh, just stick your fingers through so you can uh, pull up your like I can, I can play guitar in it. Yeah, if you want escape slits in your paws, you can put that so you can play guitar and suit. <laughs> <laughs> so keep your foot at the very top of this. As like, that's choice. always an option. Super cute. Are from, like, so many can do it. Yeah. Oh. Because we can do them now. Because we have like eight people working. <laughs> we, we have yeah. the technology. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, nine technically. You don't include Toby. I don't count. He's so oh, cool. Unless he wants yeah. to come sit in workshop. For I feel like I feel like this is a fragile <laughs> base that I need to like hold. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those beans. Oh, those, those, those are great. Beans. <laughs> Someone at the door. So good. Uh, is that fruit punch? It's like the last one. No. Okay, done. Who so? Who dat? Oh, Allison, hey, look! Hi! Oh, he's so cute! Look at him! Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, look at the boy! Hi, so hey, we're with them. Uh, we lost yeah. the Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah! And who is this? This is, uh, Kira. Dude, Kira. so, I'm uh, okay. almost <laughs> <laughs> Hi, people in my room. Hi. 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 He's like, I have gum, I have to be scared. So and I'm like, I don't care, dude. He's so cute. Like, yes. like, Ever goes with smiles. I love it. Yes. Yeah. 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 Gotta play yeah. with his eyebrows. <laughs> Wait, where's his yeah. tail? Yeah. His, his tail is over, over here. here. Over here. Over here. It was like, wow. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, is this attached to it? Yes. Yeah. Whoa. It's like a big kidney belt thing. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, you changed your collection. Yeah. I love those. That's amazing. There it goes, I think. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> that's so, so that's, cool. Is that the right way? Oh, uh, there. Okay. That's better. You can do that for like a, kind of an like a, Yeah. Um, I believe there's a magnet up here. Oh, wait. Where's your tongue? There's the long tongue and one Yeah, they're still in the backpack. Um, and there's another magnet up here that one the band Perfect. We, Perfect. We did want to do this, but then it was like... I didn't want to mess with this because it's not really fit within fabric. Yeah, <laughs> and he's perfect. Thank you so much. He was so good. Yes. Makes me happy. Yes. <laughs> Angry Dogo, look at him. Yeah. Like, he's saying he's going to buy another suit, and I didn't get my current one yet. <laughs> ah, I love the big cheeks. Yes, yes. big fluffy cheeks. Oh, yeah. Nice they were like seat. resin, yeah. Oh. Can we put once they siphon out, then I'll be able to finish it. Oh, there's another one. So that way I'll have like space to fill it. Do what you gotta do. Claws. Are you sure that's the song? Are you or claws? Maybe both. I wanted to discuss the recycling. Okay. Actually, being responsible and working.
Hello everybody! So if uh, things went as planned, I will have put my little bit of an unboxing of Archie here in front of this that my friend filmed at FC. I picked him up on Thursday night of uh, further confusion, which uh, was, as I'm filming this, it was last weekend. And I thought I'd just pop together a little review of my new boy here, because um, some people have been asking me and uh, I just thought it might be kind of worth doing. So let's get started. <laughs> so I'm gonna go over his features and everything first. Um, so the markings are absolutely perfect, even right down to his little tiny um, muzzle spots and all of his patterns here and his weird um, asymmetrical markings. They're all, they're all perfect. There's no flaws in that. They follow his reference to a T, so that's great. Um, He's extremely fluffy. <laughs> He's got the um, posable eyebrows and like like so. He's got the posable eyebrows so he can be an angry boy. And he's also got um, eyelids so he can be kind of a tired boy. Um, and these are just really fun to play with. I like them a lot. They really do make the expressions on the head change a lot. So they're really, really fun. Um, and those are all, those all work perfectly. It took me a like, bit of time to get used to them, but once I got the hang of it, they work perfectly. His tongue is Velcro. So this is like the tiny normal tongue. And then he's got a big tongue that um, fits in with the Velcro. <laughs> I'm doing this blind. And then also has a magnet in it that um, links up to his muzzle. So it's like he's licking his muzzle, which is cute and it's really easy to do. Um, so that's, that's a really fun feature. Uh, his teeth are resin, and they're really, really cool. I like them a lot. They're kind of hard to see just because of how um, big his cheek fluff is here, but he does have um, gauges, kind of. Um, part of the character design is that he's um, kind of like a wimp, and he can't stand like pain or blood, so his um, earrings are magnetic. So um, it's like that in his character design, too. Or if you take him off, it looks like he doesn't have any, but you can also... Put them on and switch them out, and he has three different pairs that came with him. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's like that on both sides, under the fluff, like that on both sides. Um, the back of his neck is super long and really well made, and they got all the markings there too. Um, inside of the head is fully lined. Uh, and really nice. Uh, you probably can't even see, but it's fully lined with like, like, you know, lycra material. Um, his eyes are follow me eyes. They kind of always look like they're watching the camera. That's pretty cool. I've never owned a follow me eye suit. So, um, that's pretty darn neat. And they even included a little tag on the end of his neck. So that's pretty cute. And his vision is actually like incredible. Like it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Um, I don't know if I can pick this all up on the camera, but I can see, I can see like a, a long way, it's better than my other two suits, surprisingly. So vision, vision's great, vision's A+. Plus. Um, his head is like a lot heavier than uh, my other two heads and any other heads I've tried on. This is just because of the kind of foam they use and the large amount of foam and all the magnets in it that it makes it kind of weigh down. So it kind of kind of top heavy, so it kind of pushes down on my nose. Um, I can still breathe okay, uh, it just takes some getting used to. You kind of breathe like you how you, like normally with my suits, I, you know, they kind of sit like up here and I breathe out of my nose and mouth here, but he kind of sits down on my face and I kind of just breathe out of my mouth, which it works. It's, it just gets, takes some getting used to, so um, I thought I put that out there. <laughs> Uh, all right, that's it for the head. Now let's look at the other features, which I've got on the floor here. Um, these are his arm sleeves. They were kind of a last minute addition, so I'm glad they were able to do them. They're made with really nice, really soft, like long fur. Well, this isn't actually, so I don't know what this is, but it's kind of like the roughest fur I felt, but it looks really cool. Uh, and the white fur is really soft. Um, arm sleeves are great. They work really well. They just have like a strap that goes over your back and then you put the shirt on over it. Usually I'll wear like an Under Armour shirt and put these on and then um, put the shirt over it and that seems to work. 
Um, this one, the right arm, is a little short for some reason. Like, it's not terrible, but you can, like, see the cuff of the, um, paw sometimes over it. I'm not incredibly sure why. It doesn't really happen on the other arm, but, um, if I need to, I can always just, like, you know, add a little bit more to it or something. It's not a huge deal. Uh, it might have been my mistake with the measurements, too. I'm not sure. Um... His feet paws are awesome. He's got two, they look exactly the same. Um, same pattern as his little multicolored toes, which they got perfect. Um, move his head a little bit. Uh, they have, sorry, this is still a little bit dirty from FC because I haven't had the time to clean them. Um, but they're like solid uh, silicone, I believe, um, and they can go outdoors pretty easily. This is like wearing them all of FC and they only got um, this dirty, which normal indoor feet paws would be terrible. Uh, yeah, I wore them outside for the parade and for some photo shoots and stuff, and they did really well. They're super solid. They make a really big, like, stomping sound on the ground when you wear them, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, this is my first pair of paws with a shoe inside of them, if you can see that at all. It's like got a little Velcro shoe. So um, they're really stable on your feet, and that's pretty darn nice. So yeah, these are, these are really cool paws. His tail is, I think, pure foam, and it's attached to a big kidney belt. Um, so it's got a lot of movement. <laughs> um, a really, really good wag to it, and the fur is really nice. Um, like, it's got a nice little um, sheen to it, and it really it wags really well. So that's really fun. Um, in his design, it's more of like a curl, like curl that goes all the way over, like like that, I suppose, but this is an interesting take on it, and I don't mind it, so, um, yeah, cool tail, neat tail. Uh, and then his last feature are his hand paws, which have five fingers, so I've never had five-fingered hand paws before. I keep trying to put a finger in, like, a, uh, like my, stick a finger in with another finger because I'm used to having four-fingered hand paws, but, um, yeah. They're pretty cool. They've got little escape slots, so um, they uh, so you can like use your phone or your camera or like fix a part of your suit without actually having to take your paws off, which is really useful. I like that a lot. Um, I don't, a friend brought this up too, and I kind of feel that the paws are the only part of the suit that looks kind of rushed. Like they don't look like normal more for less paws, and I don't mind it i like i don't i don't hate them or anything they're pretty you know they're nice they do their job but they don't look quite up to the standard of normal more for less paws if that makes sense i'll like i'll pop a picture like here somewhere so you, so you can like see what i'm talking about maybe see if it's not all in my head um and i we were talking i'm actually surprised that more of the suit doesn't look rushed because they made it in about two days i think um along with a couple others, so it's a wonder that these are the only parts that look semi-rushed to me. And I have had a couple of pop scenes on them where the rest of the suit has been really good throughout the whole con, um, and a little bit that I've been messing around with it after that. So, yeah. So yeah, that kind of nicely leads into the rest of this review, which is like the whole commissioning process and the customer service and all that. And I don't mean this to be a beware or anything. Um, I, overall, I think the Morpheus family is really nice and the people that work for it are great. Um, but I just thought I'd like talk about my experience and um, might help some like future commissioners. Um, so yeah, let's, let's start talking about that. So I originally uh, sent in a quote for a slot during um, February of last year. I got the um, email about my quote on uh, February 18th, 2017. Gave me a quote for $2,190 um, for the full partial. And um, I accepted the quote. Um, and then I got accepted on the 20th of that month. And um, that, was, that was very cool. And I put down my down payment. Um, actually, I put down like a little more than the down payment, which is fine. Um, I made my final payment for him on March 28th, 2017. I had a little small um, payment plan because it was a bit of an expensive suit. 
Um, so yeah, I paid them off at the end of March and and then uh, after not hearing anything for a while, um, which is normal because I wasn't um, coming up on the queue, I just like wanted to check in uh, in uh, July and email just uh, uh, asking when like a general completion date was. And they emailed back saying that um, the original quote was for September 2017, which I thought was perfect. That is my uh, birthday month uh, and it's my favorite month. And I was like, oh, that's perfect. September will be amazing. Um, uh, but they said they can't secure a specific date, which was totally fine. That was to be expected. Um, and I also asked if it was going to be done for MFF because that was my next con date. Um, they said it was leaning towards the end of the year. Uh, there's good hopes for that time and it sounds good. Um, so that was perfect and I kind of left him alone for a while on that. So then after not hearing anything, I checked in in October and uh, just wanted to see if I was, um, you know, how it was going and when the completion date was and to check again if MFF was going to happen. And they said, uh, we'll definitely have it done by MFF. Uh, we will probably be done early, mid-November. Um, yeah, and then talked about more of the quote. Then I checked in on uh, November 12th, which MFF started on November 30th, uh, just to check in and see how it was going and um, to let them know that shipping takes a really long time where I am because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. So um, if, you know, if they wanted to get it done by, by MFF, then it was going to have to be shipped out really soon or that they, I could pick it up at MFF and that would be fine by me too. Um, and they just replied that they were a tad bit behind. Um, they had a bit of a slowdown last month. Um, and then they just said they don't uh, take com uh, convention deadlines, which I know, it, it was fine. I wasn't really asking for that originally. It was just the fact that it was supposed to be done, like not supposed to be, but set to be done in September. Um, that um, I was just checking to see if uh, now late November would be possible. Um, and they're still right now saying that maybe. Um, and then on the 19th, um, I checked in um, just asking for a completion date and asking if, you know, and making sure that MFF wouldn't be possible because they still hadn't emailed me about that. Um, yeah, so in that, in that point, they said that MFF wouldn't be possible and to message them on Telegram for any updates. Uh, so at this point, uh, we're talking on Telegram and they are being very polite. They're very polite throughout this whole thing. Um, they just didn't tell me any of the delays. Like I would go months without hearing anything and that's kind of nerve wracking when you spent over $2,000 on a parcel and you're just not hearing anything. Um, so yeah, that's just a word for any like first aid makers or artists. Your clients, at least the good ones, are gonna are gonna understand the delays. Anytime that they explain it to me, I try to be very polite, and I get it. Um, I get that there was delays. I get that life happens. That's totally fine. Just as long as you just send a really quick message, just saying, "Hey, we got some trouble happening right now. We'll let you know as soon as we get fixed." You know, just like some word is really, really good and really important to me and to a lot of commissioners I know. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of the bottom line with this. So they originally, they did, they did get it done by FC, as you can see, he's done. Um, I got my first, uh, progress picture on January 6th. Uh, FC was on January 11th. So I guess, the, yeah, it was like, a four days along with that. I got more updates and more pictures and, um, then I eventually did get him picked up on Thursday night of FC. So yeah, that was basically it. Um... I just kind of wanted to make a general statement about keeping in contact with your customers and maybe even like having a public Trello. I know I brought it up at one point and they said they can't because they have like um, secret suits and like private commissions, but I don't know, you can always have just like a slot that says secret suit <laughs> and you don't have to say who it's commissioned by or anything. Just so you know where you are on the queue and you know, how things are going and what delays are happening because that would make me feel so much better because being kept in the dark about um, something that this, you know, this big <laughs> um, is kind of scary for a long time, um, especially when the delays start to be this much. So, but you know, I'm still, I'm, I won't discourage anyone from commissioning them. They're really nice people once you actually talk to them. 
and I know that they're probably going through some rough times even though I don't know any details um, but I hope that they really get their stuff straightened out and their deadlines straightened out um, and I do absolutely love how the boy turned out. He is he's perfect. His markings are perfect. His look is perfect. I knew that they'd be the only person that could do this, the only people that could do this character like full justice and they really really did. I'm so pleased with how he turned out. Um, I just thought I'd make this video. Um, it's going to be kind of hard to upload but I just thought I'd make it kind of explaining um, and reviewing this this boy. So I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, my next con is probably FWA. I was going to try and make BLFC, but it's finals weekend and I just don't think I can do it. So uh, FWA, <laughs> let's try for it. Um, so I see this big boofer here um, and say hello. So yeah, um, thanks you guys for watching and bye.